This is the RGB IC Neon Rope Light by Govi. This is the 5 meter version and it's part of our upgrade plan today. On the top of my wall I have a Govi M1 LED strip and on the bottom I have a random BTEC RGB strip. Looks cool and all but it isn't Govi. And if you're a little OCD like me, then these bends and curves in the rubber here are just unacceptable. What I also find unacceptable is having to find and use the manual remote when I could be using the Govi app, as I need to use it anyway for the M1 strip along the top. I could also be using it for the bottom, this would just make sense. So that is why we are upgrading to the Govi rope light today. Normally, I would recommend that you use Amazon so you get it faster, but in this case, I have to be honest, guys, I would would definitely use the Govi website directly because you are saving so much money here so for example the Govi M1 strip normally $99.99 on Amazon but it's $69.99 on the Govi store it's the same case for the neon rope lights it's $79.99 for the 3 meter version or $119.99 for the 5 meter version on the Govi store they're $55.99 and $89.99 respectively this video isn't sponsored or a paid video it is just my honest opinion although the links are affiliate links both for Govi and Amazon I'll leave them in the description for your convenience back to the upgrade as always with Govi there is a small controller built in this also has some 3m tape on the back in case you want to stick it up out of the way but we've got our basic controls on here we can turn the power on turn it off we can also switch the modes so your colors your themes and your sound reactive modes. As you can see here, they do look very much brighter and more responsive. Okay then, to take full advantage of any Govi lighting, you want to install the Govi application. You can get this on the Google and the Apple stores. Simply scan the QR code that's included in the box, or you can search for it. And I even believe Govi have a desktop version now, which we will be checking out very soon. While the application installs on the second device, let's go ahead and remove this old strip and get the new one ready for placement. Now, this does illuminate quite well, and I am quite pleased with the colors. It is a nice neon effect and I will use this in another location. As for the Govi one, to keep this in place we're using the included white Govi mounting clips. These do come with some free M adhesive on them but I've used mine up and I peeled them off. I'm going to use screws to fix these because they're going to be staying there on a more permanent basis. I always recommend keeping a roll of this VHB tape. It's very very sticky and very useful when you're messing around with LEDs and rope lights and things like that. Okay so with with this in place I can already see it is much straighter We've spaced the clips out at approximately 12 inches, roughly about a foot in between each one of them. And I'm very pleased with the results. I'll run through the basics. If you guys want to see a more in-depth video on the Govi application, make sure you leave a like on the video and get involved in the comments. That way I know you guys enjoying the content. Setup is pretty simple. Simply open the Govi app, click on the devices, and then click the plus icon in the top right corner. Make sure the light is switched on at the plug click add and then on the built-in controller that's connected to the strip press the power button on and off this is to confirm the connection you can also add the Wi-Fi if you want but it also works on Bluetooth this strip is compatible with Alexa Google Assistant and Razer Chroma this is cool from Govi. They've now added a quick video instructions guide for anybody that may be new to the application or that isn't very familiar with it. It also gives us some shape ideas. Now, when I last tested these out, they only had around 12 shapes. Now there is tons of shapes. There's like 50 or more. There's far too many to go through them all. And maybe we'll do some shapes with some of the other rope lights that I have. Okay, let me give you a little demonstration of these then. Okay. Turn on Govi rope light. All right, turning two lights on. Set rope light to the color red. All right, changing the RGBIC neon rope lights to red. Change rope lights to green. Sure, changing the RGBIC neon rope lights to green. Change rope lights to blue. Got it. Changing the RGBIC neon rope lights to blue. Turn off all lights. Okay, turning off two lights. Turn on all lights. All of the voice features seem to work really well. 
There's also loads of customization features here. You can select anything from solid colors to themes. We'll go through the solid colors first. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. Aqua blue. Purple. And white. We've also got a color wheel. You can also set the temperature of the light, so you can set it to cool or warm. They also sync up very well with music. If we come on to the natural tab, there's far too many to go through them all, but I'll show you some of my favourites. Some of my favourites are Aurora. Another one of my favourites is Rainbow A, which is like purples and blues. And then Rainbow B, which is all the reds, yellows, blues, greens, etc. Ripple is quite cool. We've got loads on here. That's cornfield. Flowers. Like I said, far too many to go through them all, but recently Govi added this speed. Now this isn't available on all of the modes, but it is available on some of them. And you can select the speed between slow and high. I like to keep mine on around 25% though. If we come onto the festival tab, you've got some cool party ones here for like New Year's Eve and for Christmas and special occasions. Halloween. Halloween B. Valentine's. Candlelight. Birthdays. Fireworks. Like I said, there's far too many to go through them all, so I'll just skip through. We've also got a life tab. This has got a few cool ones on here. So there's one for romantic. There's some for effects, a siren, for example. We've also got some that are ideal for study, like white light, etc. Calming effects. We've got Atlantis. If we come on to the DIY tab, again, there's just simply far too much to go through them all, but you can select community members designs and this can be implemented onto your strip. You can also save and share these. There's also the finger sketch, which allows us to control the light up to 70 segments. We can set it to go clockwise, anti-clockwise, cycle and more we can also change the speed here you've also got a brightness slider there now you can set a background color or like i said you can control 70 segments you can select your own colors or you can use recommended colors and recommended palettes this is really cool and don't forget to share these on the govi application because by doing this you do actually receive reward points which you can redeem later for money off products or towards merchandise another great addition from govi is the AI bot. 
This is really cool. You can hold the talk icon at the bottom here and you can ask it for specific themes or colors. It will also give you a response and it's pretty cute. I think it's really cool. AI is a big part of everything nowadays. It's good to see that Govi are trying to implement AI into its application. So what do I think of the Govi rope light and the Govi updates? Well, I don't think there's anything better. Govi are my go-to for all my lighting, for my ambient and my room lighting. They are very well made and to a high quality. They're compatible with multiple smart products voice control features and they are compatible with some third-party smart applications if you've got a smart network in your home for example you can also connect to this with these lights as I just demonstrated there's so many themes and modes to have fun with and there's also a growing community to engage with Although this rope light is more specifically designed to make shapes with, I do like them on the wall in this project. Like I said, I don't think there's much out there that can compete. I've got to be honest, in my experience, I've had very, very little downsides with anything that I've used from Govi. We also have a few other Govi products that I want to show you guys. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with your notifications on. That way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you for being here. I appreciate all of you guys. And if you found this video helpful at all, please consider leaving a like on the video. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig. This is Really Random Reviews. And I'll see you in my next video.